Hi guys, this is uh, Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and today we are continuing on with some AP Physics 1 problems and this is a energy focus question and um, yeah, I encourage you to pause it, attempt to do the problem on your, on your own and then come back after you've attempted the problem. So a 0.1 kilogram solid rubber ball is attached at the end of a 0.8 meter high length of light thread. The ball is swung in a vertical circle as shown in the diagram above. Point P, the lowest a point of the circle, is 0.2 meters above the floor. The speed of the ball at the top of the circle is, 0.6, is 6 meters per second, and the total energy of the ball is kept constant. Determine the total energy of the ball using the floor as a zero point for gravitational potential energy. Um, okay, so up here, I know it's velocity and it's height, so I will do the energy there. So its total energy is whatever its potential energy is plus its kinetic energy. That's the mgh plus one half mv squared. m is 0.1 kilograms. g is 9.8 meters per second squared. Its height is a little bit tricky. It's 0.8 here, but you know this is also 0.8 because it's it's a circle. So 0.8 plus 0.8 plus 0.2, so that's 1.6 plus 2, that's 1.8 meters, plus 1 half times 0.1 kilogram, times its velocity, which was 6 meters per second, quantity squared. Three point five six four joules. Determine the speed of the ball at point P, the lowest point. Well, all of this potential energy, all of this energy has to be the same here, but it has lower potential energy, so its kinetic energy must be higher. So again, the mgh plus one half mv squared would have to be equal to the total energy, which is three point five six four joules, right? But this time the mgh is here, so I'm going to solve for v. Um, I'm going to do, uh, let's see, 1 half mv squared is equal to 3.564 joules minus mg, well let, let's plug in the mgh, minus mgh. Mass is 0.1 kilograms, g is 9.8, and the h here is only 0.2 meters because it's lower. So that number is... 3.564 minus 0.1 times 9.8 times 0 0.2. 3.368 joules. And then I'm going to multiply by 2 divided by m squared. So v is equal to the square root of 2 times 3.368 joules divided by the mass, which is 0.1 kilogram. Eight point two one uh, meters per second. Okay. Um, determine the tension on the thread at the top of the circle. Okay. Top of the circle, free body diagram. Top of the circle, tension's pulling down, and mg is pulling down. Force of gravity. That's it, right? They're both pulling downward, right? Because the tension can only pull. I can only pull me toward the center. It can't push me. Okay. So fg plus T is my net force. The net force is equal MA, but what kind of motion, what kind of acceleration is it feeling here? It's circular, so this is centripetal acceleration, V squared over R. So T, I can solve for T, it's MV squared over R minus the force of gravity. Okay, so M is 0.1 kilograms. We already decided what the velocity was at the top, or it's already given to me, it's six meters per second squared. The radius of the circle of its path is 0.8 meters. And the force of gravity is just mg, which is 0.1 kilogram times 9.8. Right, that's force of gravity. So the tension would be um, 0.1 times 6 squared divided by 0.8 minus 0.1 times 9.8. I get 3.52 newtons. Now in a different scenario, at the bottom of the circle, I have gravity pulling down. 
but the tension is pu pulling me up, right? Because again, at down here, the rope would be pulling me towards the center. Tension can only pull. So, and the acceleration is upward, so the net force, I will say, is T minus force of gravity. That's equal to mv squared over r again. ma, right? Because it's still circular. It's centripetal acceleration. So T would be fg plus mv squared over r. That's equal to 0 0.1 times 9.8 plus 0.1 kilograms times its velocity at the bottom here, though, was 8.21 meters per second. Sorry, my M's never come out good. Um, divided by 0.8 meters. Okay, so 0.1 times 9.8 plus 0.1 times 8.21 squared divided by 0.8. 9.41 newtons. The ball only reaches the top of the circle once before the thread breaks when the ball is at the lowest point of the circle. Determine the horizontal distance the ball travels before hitting the floor. Oh man. Okay, so we know its velocity, right when it snaps right here, its velocity going this way is 8.21 meters per second. We'll call that V, V. <laughs> And um, its distance it travels in the x direction would be velocity times time because there's in the when you do projectile motion right there's no horizontal force or acceleration um, we're assuming, assuming ignoring air resistance but to find the time I got to look in the y direction the y direction has a height of 0.2 meters so I know delta x uh, y is equal to v naught t plus one half g t squared. Its delta y would be 0.2 meters. It has no vertical velocity at this point, so this is zero. Equals one half times 9.8 meters per second squared times t squared. I could solve for t squared. I'm going to multiply by two, divide by 9.8. So t is equal to the square root of two times 0.2 meters divided by 9.8 meters per second squared. That's 0.202 seconds and so then it's delta x is its velocity which was 8.21 meters per second times 0 0.202 seconds 1.65 meters okay so the last part was a kinematic projectile motion question so uh, hope you found it helpful I will see you guys in the next video Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.